Introducing the M5 Stack Stick C Plus 2, one of the coolest pen testing tools and ESP32 devices by the company M5 Stack. Now, this is one of the most successful ESP32 devices on the market today for a lot of reasons. It had a built in RTC, a six axis gyroscope, a 200 milliamp hour battery, an infrared transmitter, GPIO pins at the top, a wonderful LCD display, Wi Fi, and Bluetooth has a buzzer and a built-in microphone, stands at a whopping two inches in length, a USB-C port for power and data, as well as a four pin Grove connector to attach external modules. Now there's three buttons on this little guy, one on the side, one on the front, and one on the other side. One serves as a boot button, the other serves as a reset, and this is more of an okay. Now I'm running one of the best firmware that you can run on this guy, which is the Bruce firmware. It's also incredibly easy to flash. All you gotta do is download M5 Burner. We've gone over it in earlier videos. If you wanna check out how to flash a M5 stack card pewter, it's essentially the same exact thing. We wanna keep in mind that while we use the Bruce firmware and other firmware like the Bruce firmware, we only wanna test our own devices as failing to do so can be detrimental to your freedom. And this device is regarded as a cheap Flipper Zero alternative. It has a TV Be Gone feature, as well as the ability to attach an NRF24 and run as a bad USB. And like the Flipper Zero, there are GPIO boards that you can attach directly to the device. For example, you have this extended battery GPIO board that puts an 18650 on this guy with GPIO access. There is even a watch strap attachment to make this device a lot more covert. We have radio hot swap boards for the M5 stick just like this on our website valleytechsolutions.tech and we have our own hot swap board coming very soon on Elecro and our website that does basically the exact same thing as this one with an added SD card. And hot swap boards like this allow you to attach an NRF24 or a CC1101 directly to the M5 stick and pretty much get the most out of the Bruce firmware. Just once again, keep in mind to only test your own hardware. This is definitely one of the top five best ESP32 tools and one of the coolest pen testing tools you can add to your arsenal. So if you wanna check them out, it's m5stack.com. We go over different IoT devices, repairs, and variations of tech daily. So if you'd like to see more, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for tuning in.